have many new sections and more than 150 new recommendations in the guidelines. And one important new section concerns the general part. So we have uh, structured according to a frequently uh, encountered clinical situation, which is the first presentation with the ventric arrhythmias. And so in patients without known disease yet. So we have comprehensive algorithms for the evaluation of patients with non-sustained VTs as an incidental finding of patients with uh, the first sustained monomorph VT, also of sudden cardiac arrest survivors, of sudden death victims, and of the evaluation of relatives of unexplained sudden death victims. And uh, also include very uh, new recommendations on autopsies. We have very new recommendations on genetic testing. Um, and we provide very, uh, very comprehensive guidance um, according to the different specific diseases. Because we have learned that the underlying disease and, um, and it, sometimes the underlying etiology plays an important role for both risk certification and management. So give me one example, it's patients with dilated carpaces. Now cardiac MR is a 2A recommendation, uh, also for risk certification. Genetic testing is a class 1 recommendation, this patient population in those with family history of DCM or sudden cardiac death. Um, and also a 2A recommendation in sporadic cases if they present at young age. And this is in particular important because very specific uh, etiologies like LMNA variants require additional um, risk certification. For the remaining DCM patients, still the action flexion plays a role, but it's now a 2A ICD uh, implantation indication for those with action fraction of 35% or lower. For those with intermediate action fraction, we use the genetic testing and the uh, results of imaging as additional risk certifier, and then we provide more guidance how to use um, several risk factors. So we have important recommendations on the treatment of ventricular arrhythmias, and here catheter ablation plays an important role. It's a class one recommendation for patients uh, that have already an ICD and are on amidarone and have experienced recurrent ICD treatment, but very important for idi idiopathic ventricular arrhythmias. Um, also in some situations, like the sporadic, like PVC-induced carapaces, but also for PVCs from certain locations, like the RBOT or the left fascicles, for these patients, catheter ablation is also a class one recommendation. We give uh, new recommendations on risk certification for patients with early repolarization pattern, which is an, so very often normal ECG finding, has not to be confused with this early repolarization syndrome. We have new recommendations on Brugada syndrome, uh, how to diagnose it. We have actually very important new in, in, uh, recommendations on beta blocker prescription in patients. Um, with long QT and uh, CBVT and recommend ideally non-cardioselective uh, uh, beta blockers uh, as a first-line treatment. And finally, we have provided very uh, many comprehensive flowcharts, 24, and these are very important for the clinical, uh, for the clinical practice because they guide the treatment uh, in several situations. Uh, and also for specific situations, for instance, for the management of electrical storm. And finally, which is very important to us for the, for, the, um, for the convenience of the reader, we have published in the supplemental material the table of evidence, which is a summary of all trials that support recommendations.